The first known maps to include geographical features were found in ancient Rome. It would be thousands of years before map makers could chart large areas of terrain with real accuracy. Contour lines as we know them today became popular use in the mid 1800s. After reading contour lines on a map for a while, you'll notice that a few distinct features pop out again and again. Learning to identify common contour line formations will help you read maps quickly and recognize the variation terrain features that they represent on a map. A hill or a peak. The innermost ring at the center of the several contour loops almost always represent the highest peak or elevation. Sometimes this peak will be represented with a small x and a number notating the elevation. At a quick glance, a map will give you a general idea of what you're looking at. If each line represents an equal point of elevation, then any change in the elevation would lead to line spacing. This is an example of contour line spacing. Index lines are the thickest contour lines and are usually labeled with a number at the point of the line. This tells you the elevation above sea level. Supplementary lines appear as dotted lines, indicating a flatter terrain. Topographical maps is the study of geological features on a landscape. A map with contour lines on it is called a topographical map. A topographical map uses a combination of colors, shading, and contour lines to represent changes in the elevation and terrain shape. Initially, topographical maps represent the three-dimensional landscape of the earth in two-dimensional space of a map. Contour lines are critical to understanding the elevation profile of your terrain or particular land or water formation. This information can be helpful when selecting a fishing, hiking, anything type of that route. It can also be used for life saving and survival situations. Beyond fishing and hiking, countless of other professions use them. Land surveyors, foresters, engineers, miners, geologists, hunters, and the military. Okay, I'm going to talk about five key main features on a map that you need to use while deciphering and reading a map. You can use your fist as a reference, okay? This is how I'm gonna show you. Here's your hill. Right here are your hills. Your valley is in between right there between the two hills going down with the split would be your valley okay your ridge line is the tops of your knuckle okay the saddle is in between your hills or your tops so it's right there just like on a horse. Now your depression is going to be a downward slope from the top of something. So your depression's right in the middle, but it's going down. Okay? So those are the five main key features on a map. 
your hill, your valley, your ridge, your saddle, and your depression. Okay? Now, we're going to get into C maps and take a look at how to read these key features on the map. Valley. When contour lines cross a valley or a stream, they make a sharp pointed V or U shape. Rivers, of course, are represented by blue lines that will run through the center of the V shape, sometimes called draws. The V shape of this feature will always point towards their peak. A ridge line. Think of a ridge line like a elongated peak, not coming to a fine point. Instead of a closed inner circle, a ridge line can look like a big oval. A saddle is a low lying area between two high points of elevation. Identifying saddles can also show you the quickest route through a hilly area. They also appear as an hourglass shape between two areas. A depression. It is an inner ring that indicates a depression which is the lowest elevation on a map that will show a series of small ticks or marks pointing towards the center of the ring. Intermediate lines are the thinner, more common lines between the index lines. They usually don't have a number label. Typically, one index line occurs every five intermediate lines. At this time, I want you to see if you can find the hill, the valley, the ridge line, the saddle, and depression in this picture. As far as shaded relief or terrain shading, just like C-Maps Reveal, is a technique used to give contour maps a 3D feel. By lightening shade one of the side of the features like Valley's Ridge to make the terrain more easily viewed to your eyes. This is a great way to understanding what you're looking at. Thank you for watching.